So welcome back. So in the last uh, lecture, we talked about how the hazard is detected over here, and we said this is the hazard detection circuit, and it must uh, be applied through these equations. So after the hazard is detected, uh, these uh, of course this is the events that will uh, 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 require a hazard. First of all, M A of the decode operand fetch must be zero, meaning we are reading from the uh, register the operand A. AA of the decode operand fetch stage and DA in the execution stage should be equal, meaning we are reading our, uh, from the same register. RW should be equal to 1, and we are not reading writing to R0, so these of all of if all of these happen, then we are going to have a hazard. Now, the uh, solution of these conditions, if they hold, we want to pin the writing for the next stage. This is done by uh, performing the following. So, uh, HB represents the same for HA. If either HA or HB, then the data hazard DHS will equal to 1. Now, once DHS is equal to 1, meaning this is equal to 0. So, we are going to hold PC minus 2, hold PC minus 1 and instruction register, and hold PC. And at the same time, we are going to have a 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here. So, this is RW is equal to 0, DA is equal to 0, M and uh, BS is equal to 0, and MW is equal to 0. So once we do that, whatever happens in the data path over here will have no effect because RW will equal to 0, MW will equal to 0, BS will equal to 0, and destination address, we are going to write anything to R0, and we're, when we write to R0, the value will be discarded because R0 is equal to 0. So this is basically how we apply the values or how we apply the first solution which is the box. Now the uh, second solution which is basically the forwarding. In the forwarding we are what we are going to do is we are going to have a copy of max d over here. Be earlier. Okay we are going to have a copy of max d. So once we have H A or H B presented what will happen? Sorry. Once we have HA or HB presented, what will happen? We have HA as a new address for max B and HB also for max A, for max B, uh, HB for max A, HA. And we have a new value coming through max D prime. So we are going to read the values from max D coming from max D er, much more earlier before they are written to the register file. So we have a copy of max D having, happening here. If we detect a hazard, we take the result and read it from max D as simple as that. So the second hardware solution of data formatting, which is based on the answer of the following question. When a data hazard is detected, is the result available somewhere in the pipeline so that it can be used immediately in the operation having the data hazard? The answer is almost. The result will be in bus D but not yet available to the register file. So what we do is we create a max D prime and in max D prime we are going to read the values much more earlier as we said over here. So this is the forwarding solution. The final part which we are going to talk about is the control hazard and inside the control hazard we are going to see that when you have a control hazard these are instructions when we say branch on zero if R1 these instructions will be already in the pipeline. As you can see here, branch in zero, these instructions are already in the pipeline. So we need to know whether to keep these instructions or not. First, we can either apply the NOF instructions or we can uh, do a branch prediction and in, uh, either uh, let the instructions be inside the pipeline or insert bubbles if a branch is detected as we see over here in this circuit. Okay, so the same applies over here. If a branch is detected, we are going to clear the pipeline and apply bubbles over here. So this is basically the whole uh, end of the reduced instruction set computer. Uh, we will be explain explaining more uh, in the, um, we'll be explaining more in the uh, discussion classes. Thank you for watching.